Here we go, the ultimate guru heal here. Look, one, two, three, four of them. Bang. All ready to go. I've got my religious debater up on the front line now, which is really good. He can come up and, and help it. But look, I've got apostles, apostles left, right and centre. We've got to fight these guys off. I reckon hopefully... Oh, no, not quite. Not quite. And I've got a mission register be dealing with things in the meantime. But, oh, my goodness, this is just... It's religious warfare on a, on a crazy scale. Um, yeah, the fact that Australia have declared war on me is a little bit of a problem. I mean, I've got a couple of, like, fairly decent troops. So, I should be able to keep them off just about. Okay, you see, like that. But, hmm, I don't want to lose all my religious troops. That's my problem. That's, that's my problem. What's this guy? This is a convert barbarians sort of dude. Oh... I mean, I don't. I didn't want to. The, the good thing is, declaring war on us, or Australia declaring war on me, means they don't get their production boost. And it, it, Australia, with its production boost, is just a pain in the absolute bottom. But they haven't got that this time, so that's fine. This, my, oh, this guy is really good at debating. Oh, I kind of want to get him involved really quickly. Let's just move you to there. Get you to attack. Yeah, I know that wasn't very good for you, but I can bring this guy in and get him to attack. Doesn't quite kill, unfortunately. But that's fine. I'm basically just using as many of my charges before all my people die as possible. And then I'll I'll sort of bring these guys back up to the English border for now. Just give give that one up as a bad as a bad job. I might send a couple of missionaries and stuff, but my faith has another different sort of importance now. Uh, now that um, Australia have decided to attack me, I might actually take this as an opportunity to kill them. Things like Crouching Tigers, range strength 50 against their troops, is pretty damn good. Pikemen, I think are 41. Knights, Knights are 48. So Knights are pretty good, actually. We could, we could take these guys on. Yeah. Let's do it. A couple of Knights. Purchase these guys up. We'll be fine. Oh, no. Can't move this guy because he's got crossbows. Crossbows to the front line. We're taking these guys on. Oh my goodness, they want to give me the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> you know what, Rome? In the interests of being being or oh, like a friend of yours, I'm just gonna I'm gonna trade this deal. I, I know it's not a particularly good one for me, but I want I want Rome to stay on side. They're about my only ally in this game. And uh God damn it, I need I need their support. Here we go. Here comes the big debater. Ba -ba 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 bang Oh, that that was that was unspectacularly. Ugh, I wanted to kill him. Why? Oh, fine. I'll have to use this guy to kill him instead. Here we go. Come on, we're we're taking these guys on now. Get out of my town, you flipping enemies, you. Why, why can't my city shoot? I don't know why my cities can't shoot him. Oh, my knights have just decided to attack pikemen. I'm not entirely sure that was the aim of that, but never mind. It frees me up to do other stuff, I guess. Yeah, they've killed all of my... They killed all of them. Absolutely all of them. It's <laughs> so sad. Right, I'm going to have to take a different approach here. I'm going to escape my religious troops out. Uh, keep them nice and safe. And then we'll sort of go and try and take over Gilgamesh and the city-states. I think that's going to be the best way of getting back at them. Because, my goodness, we, we just got decimated there. You know, the silly thing is, is that actually, looking at the scores now, I do have four people. Four whole people. I also just, I love the concept of an Australian knight. Like, just in the real world, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't see it. It's just sort of like one of those hilarious juxtapositions of sort of like what you would expect a knight to be. <laughs> no offence to the Australian accent, but it would be it would be quite funny, do you not think? Um, oh god, I hate I hate these messy combats in this game, but my goodness, it's just you can't avoid them. Here they are, and and enjoy. So if I can get a couple more kills of religious units here, I'm gonna really put them on the back third. But this missionary for good 94%, I'll take that and I'll this, this this guy that's just on like one health, I'll use him again just to really, really rub it in while I can. Uh, this guy could actually die as well. Uh, oh goodness, oh goodness, where do I send all my people? 
think I might have to keep him down here. Yeah, well, we'll just attack you. Right, let's get this wonder going. Yeah, look at that, rushing it nicely. That's gonna be, I love this wonder. Just like it being on the hill as it is. It's really, really cool. Mont St. Michael, beautiful. Any deal that involves me paying 23 gold per turn is never normally a good deal, Gilgamesh. I, I'm, I may be, I may be ridiculously sort of gullible at some points, but I feel like I know a bad deal when I see one. This, this is my debater guy. Oh no, where's the debater guy gone? Is that here? Oh no, is he dead? Is my debater guy gone? Oh, whoops. Uh, never mind. He's, he appears to have gone. Okay, fine. Well, we, we are losing religious troops all over the place. Um, but we still appear to have England in our sort of hold. Where are we? We've got a couple of healers coming. They're going to take their sweet time, but they will get there eventually. What about missionary? Why don't you go you go run this way? Let's see, let's see, if you, see what you can find in that direction. Um, oh dear. This guy's really good. I kind of wanted to spread him rather than do anything like too bad. What's this? Is that a hill? That is a hill. Hmm, and are there roads here? Doesn't look like there are roads, are there? Is there a road there? There's a road there. Industrial road. Okay, fine. So we'll try it. We'll go to there. Oh no, it's not going to work. Oh, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to spread. Never mind. Never mind. We'll, we'll hit that missionary. That's unfortunately going to get rid of some of my influence, but we'll put this guy back in immediately. And then, here we go. These Australians are just everywhere. They're not They're not giving me a moment's rest. Come back, crossbowmen. You're injured. You're very injured. Um, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Actually, this guy would be super powerful. Yeah, look, 59 strength for all those promotions. Very nice. Like, if I can just avoid them sort of landing in this area, I've got the measure of them. It's just annoying. It's an annoying war. Australia just declared war on France. My goodness, they are... They are at war with everyone right now. Five turns until peace. I'm kind of, I'm hoping, right? I'm really hoping that we'll be able to do somewhat of a sort of peace rush on them. We'll get a load of the apostles sort of maybe in one of these seas and we'll rush them when we're at peace because we'll have 10 turns where they can't attack us. That's, that'll be the plan. I don't know, I don't know if that'll sort of be how it happens, but that will be the plan. Um, this... Yeah, we, we have actually managed to in, almost entirely get rid of the English religion. Somehow. I think they must have just attacked people into us or something stupid. I'm not entirely sure. But it's... I'm not going to complain. Can I kill that guy as well? I can kill that guy as well. Oh my goodness, we are... Suddenly we're doing great. This is amazing. Pull back you to there. Get the guru over the river and suddenly... We can start to heal ourselves and come again. Their, uh, their crossbows are really powerful because they've got that defender of the faith religion, which is a real bummer, actually. <laughs> that makes it so much more difficult to to kill. Um, I might just have to pull back a little bit, let them, let them come to me, you know? There we go. Just come back. Retreat a little bit. It'll all be fine. I've forgotten I dropped an apostle in Rome. Hello. How are you? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start spreading my religion to Rome. I'm sorry, Rome. You're not going to, you're not gonna like me for that, but you are my ally, so you'll just have to put up with it. Right, in you come, Guru. Let's give everyone a new breath of fresh air. We're all good to go now. God, these Australian missionaries are everywhere. Get out, come on. Australia also managed to attack one of my knits which is a little bit annoying, but they've done that thing where by, by killing me, they've just wandered into, you know, my ranged support, so I'm not entirely sure if they if they got what they were looking for there, because now you're just going to get crouching tigered. Sorry about that. So somehow, my super debater has actually managed to survive all this. I've got my guru in now. We can just, oh, spread religion. How can these guys actually spread religion? I didn't know they did that. That's quite cool. Heal him up. 
Wonderful, my apostles are now actually almost at full fighting strength, which is pretty cool. So yeah, just onwards you go. I've got a couple of good apostles down here now that are like triple strength against enemy religions. I'm just sort of gonna explore out Ur and on all of these sort of Gilgamesh cities and just really start to put the pressure on now. I mean, if we have a look at the map of the world, right? My religion is, I mean, it, it, it's, it's barely, like there's occasional cities that aren't mine. But everything else is mine now. It's really cool. I mean, even France is just about completely mine. I'm getting so much faith for 10. I'm getting more faith than one apostle per 10. So I can, I can just crank them out like crazy. This missionary has just got free reign now just to come and spread it into Liverpool, just to keep the pressure on. England, I think I've, I've won. England is the only one that might come back because they're earning quite a lot of faith per turn. Oh, Vicky there, she's got, she's got lots of faith, 183. Whereas Curtin's only got 88. I mean, I'm triple producing faith on him. He, he shouldn't have anything on me. Sorry, Australia. You and your, you and your court cat, you're not going to be able to stop me. So I've got one one charge left. I think I'm going to use it wisely and not use it and just attack the missionaries. I'm sorry, Rome. I'm just going to be an absolute git here and make sure your religion does it just doesn't come off the ground. I'm really sorry, but I'm just going to have to be brutal here. It's my favourite glitch, everyone. The battering ram that never stops. Yay! I've missed this. That just incessant ringing of battering ram in my ears. Mmm, great. That's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying, oh, I'm just gonna love this. Uh oh, England, uh, they go on the other flank now. Um, quick, retreat, retreat missionary. You are no, you are no match for these. Again with this, I'm relieved to see your empire pays as no threat to us. Go away, Victoria. Oh, that's so rude. Like, <laughs> what, what, why? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? It's just... Duh. Terrible. Oh god, that noise. Why the noise? Why? Oh, stop it. Please stop it. Hey, I got a wonder. Hooray, everyone's got Marta now. That's really cool. I killed the battering ram. It got that bad. I was so... I was so tired. So tired of the... of the constant noise. Oh, it was awful. So it's turn 116, we can sort of check in with the game. I'm, in terms of the actual game itself, I'm still doing terribly, although I have caught up, up somehow in culture. Although, oh my god, France is suddenly on 200 and something culture per turn. That's, um, yeah. I might have to keep an eye on that one because I think they're getting lots of tourists from, from me. Um, so that's... That's not good. France might win a culture victory, but I'm doing all right on score. I've s somehow I don't have the smallest army. That is Australia, because I have a feeling they just sort of threw their troops into me. But otherwise, my cities are doing all right. My production is pretty decent. I've got these two cities are pretty good in the middle. My religion is just dominant pretty much everywhere, um, which is nice. You can see here I'm just sort of spreading it in random places. I've got another apostle on the way just to really rub it in a little bit good thing about Rome is, you know, the roads. I can get in and out pretty quickly. Um, Gilgamesh actually is is one that I'm doing better with than I was expecting slash hoping, which is pretty cool. You can see I'm sort of putting pressure on their religion now. I've got this apostle um, who is going to sort of come down and start attacking these guys again. I mean, look, again, the roads. The roads just make it so much easier to do my stuff can just happily happily come all the way down and and then spread another you know shouty stabby it's all good everyone everyone loves it everybody loves it I mean I've got so many apostles to use now so Gilgamesh I'm pretty happy with France isn't gonna go anywhere France is like taking over now is pretty cool uh, the tourism is a little bit scary England England is is you know, holding out, but I've still got most of the cities and they, they were really stupid to settle Bradford over here. The reason I left it, and I know you guys probably looked at it and went, 
hmm, Ryan, you've let somebody settle on your continent. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't great. I'm not going to lie. I, the fact they settled there was really annoying. But actually, it's not the worst thing in the world because it means one of their cities is taken over. So even I've, it means I've basically got to only keep two or three of these alive and on my cause. And now, now that I've got these sort of... Is this the debating one? Which is the debating one? The debating one sort of somewhere. I think it's maybe on his way. But I've got... Like, I'm just easily taking on the English apostles now. Look, again, the religion's gone. <laughs> it's, it's a really it's a really satisfying playthrough. I've never really attempted a religious playthrough with this level of sort of focus before, but it's been it's been really enjoyable in a sort of weird way. Oh, is this my this is the religious strength guy. I wonder where you've gone. I was hoping you weren't dead. Um I'm really enjoying it. It's it's really good. I, I'm I'm hoping we should win the game fairly soon. We'll see see how it goes. But um, but yeah, I think we'll be all right. Uh, thanks for watching. Anyway, guys, it's been it's as ever. It's lovely to have you all here and with us. Uh, hopefully, we can survive this Australian attack. And next episode, we can go about um, winning the game before France does. Uh, who knows what's going to happen. So until then, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye! So, the eagle-eyed viewers among you may have noticed that we have leaped possibly 15-20 turns into the future, like some sort of space-traveling lunatic. Well, ugh, this game has just wound me up. And actually, not just this game. I, I've got an Elgato... HD 60, I think, the one that does 60 FPS, but oh, I don't know. It's it's not working. It's broken and it's it's it was new and it was supposed to be an upgrade to the one I had and it does 60 frames per second. Yay, isn't that cool? And it keeps breaking on me and it's uh, like honestly, it just has really annoyed me. So the long and short of it is I lost all of the footage of the last 20 turns and I do not have the heart to go back and film it. I'm very, very sorry. But honestly really really being honest I probably would have only taken about five minutes of footage from the last 20 turns it was just really dull like nothing really nothing happened um, and I, I'm honestly not just saying like it really it was like one of the most boring games I've ever, ever played honestly um, I won yay exciting I, I've got everyone dominant you know it, it turns out that it was actually it's a little bit weird Rome Rome was always taken, France was always, well, I mean, France just fell eventually. Look, every single city in the area is just following my religion. In fact, let's put, the, let's put the tool on, Ryan, and then people can see. People can see that horrible, greeny, slimy colour which I chose my religion with. I should have gone the, like, bright, I mean, that purple is cool. You know, really cool. I don't know why I didn't go for that one in the end. So France fell, um, Gilgamesh. He fell pretty easily as well, actually. I mean, that wasn't too bad. And even city-states around here were falling. Australia actually was very easy because they were peace-locked. They couldn't do anything against my troops and they were only generating about 60 faith per turn. So I just chucked about nine apostles in, killed everything that moved. Like, they, they did a thing where they sent out loads of um, gurus at me. And that was really good because I could just kill the gurus and it would, you know, religion bomb everyone else. And, and I mean... Honestly, it really actually didn't, it wasn't that spectacular. It was very easy in the end. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much, not much to see really. Australia kind of fell. This, this, do you see that? Do you see all of these freaking inquisitors? England probably was earning about 200 and something faith per turn and they were popping out like three or four inquisitors at a turn. They were just getting me around. Honestly, you can see I've got like, three four apostles like down here i've got another five or six i've got lungs honestly it just it was pure luck that i managed to sort of get enough cities in one go to, to win it i like it was a couple of like i think i managed to jump in like an apostle like this one i think with yeah 75 percent pressure this one i managed to like chuck him around the side of the city knock a religion to mine and then start killing these inquisitors which get really really rubbish when they're not in friendly territory so it kind of all escalated from there but oh it took like yeah two hours to film and i probably only had about five minutes of like decent footage from it it was the most boring thing so i'm really sorry you don't get to see the end of the game but honestly you are not missing anything 
Fun fact, religious wins, really, really boring. <laughs> Especially when you're like as behind with tech. Incidentally, that, in terms of science and culture, was easily the worst game of Civ I've ever played. Like Civ 5 or Civ 6. I did appallingly badly in this one. I have no idea why it went that badly. Anyway, I'll let you get on with your evening. Sorry about that again. Leave me in the comments below if future playlists, future games you want me to see. Oh, actually, no, no, you can leave them here. That's fine if you want to leave me there. I had a, a New Year video, like a 2018 New Year video. I think it's, it's the one that pops up in front of my channel. Go look at that. Go look at that and comment on that. It's really good to have them all in one place. And thank you again for watching and subscribing and liking and loving and existing and whatever you guys do. Breathing? Am I going to, like, say congratulations for breathing? Probably. It's the sort of thing I do. Hope you enjoyed the casual racism in the naming of the cities. Definitely wasn't racist. It was just a funny pun of Chinese food. <laughs> See you later. Bye!